Hey, what's up everybody? Daniel here from Never Enough Tech. While I wait for my new cool electronic things to review, I thought why not post a quick how-to video. In this video, I want to talk about Apple shortcuts. I'm a big fan. I think they are useful and fun to craft. Maybe I'm on an island with this opinion. As a reminder, shortcuts allow you to string together actions you may do on a regular basis, like send your boo an ETA and start your favorite playlist with just a single button press. I'm already home, so it's a pretty short ETA. Anyway, as you may or may not know, shortcuts have a category called automation. iOS and iPad OS 14 added a few new triggers that I find interesting. So with automation, you can make your device do useful stuff when you perform everyday actions outside of the shortcuts app. Well, one limitation of these automations is that it will trigger actions regardless of time. So for instance, maybe I have a routine where I get into bed, plug in my device and read for 30 minutes. So at night, I want Kindle to launch when I plug in my device, but definitely don't want Kindle popping up when I plug in my device throughout the rest of the day. Well, I'm not aware of anybody asking for this, but I want to show you how to make time a gatekeeper of the automation. To create this automation, I will first create a shortcut that opens Kindle, but only between 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. If it's before 10 p.m., I'm not in bed yet. If it's after 12, I'm going straight to sleep. So let's create this new shortcut by pressing the plus. Let's give this shortcut a name to make it feel more real. Select the three dots on the top and let's call it Night Read. Let's close it out. To get started on building the shortcut, we need to get the hour. We do this by typing date in the search bar and dragging date into the timeline. You can also double tap, which will just add the item to the bottom of the sequence. Well, to extract what you need from the date, we need to find a thingy that can format the date into just the hour. So let's type in date formatter and drag it in. So let's just develop a custom date. Here you can see how the date will kind of be formatted. I guess. It looks totally confusing and gibberishy. No worries, we can always see what all this gibberish means with Quick Look. So let's type Quick Look into the search bar and drag that into our timeline. And press play. Okay, so here is what these letters mean. So let's just erase everything but the capital H's. We don't need the rest. So let's rerun the shortcut and we should see Quick Look just spitting out the hour. Yep, in business. We don't need Quick Look anymore, so bye bye Quick Look. Bye bye Quick Look, Felicia. All right, now we need to tell this shortcut to only open Kindle if it's between 10 p.m. and 12 a.m. To do this, we need an if statement. So let's type in if in the search bar. Well, it pops right up, awesome. Let's drag our if into the timeline. So this is not completely obvious, but Shortcuts is reading the formatted date as text, not as a number. You know, a number that we can do math with. Strange, I know. So to make this formatted date more mathy, we will select formatted date and then select as text and make sure that we select number and then done. Awesome, now let's tell shortcut to only run after 21. So press condition and then is greater than and then type in 21. So we finished our if statement. So next type open app in search Drag it into the timeline right under the if. And then specify Kindle. Just for some extra fireworks, let's change the screen brightness. So type screen, add set brightness right under the open Kindle command and I'll specify 25%. I don't want the screen to be too bright while I'm reading. 
So now we have a fully cooked shortcut, night read, to run as an automation. So press my shortcuts, go to automation, and then press plus to create a new automation. Create personal automation, Select Charger. We want it to run when it's connected to power, not disconnected, so no changes needed. Now go ahead and press Next. In the search bar, type Run Shortcut. Then drag it into the timeline. And specify the shortcut you want. You guessed it, Night Read. Press Next. I suggest turning off Ask Before Running. And you are all set. Let's test it out. So right now we're within our specified time. I plug it in and it works. Now we can see it's after 12. I plug in the iPad and nothing happens. All right, this was intended to be short and sweet. Hope you learned something useful, even if it's just a few of you out there. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you thought this was worth your time. Catch you on the next one.